Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how to emboss a logo onto any object. So let's get started. I have mentioned all the chapters in the description below. Open Blender, press Shift A and add in an image as a reference. Next, add in a circle. Now we will extrude this circle in such a way that it matches the reference image. Take your time to model this. For the base, I've just selected the outer circle, extruded it inwards and slightly raised it up. Once you are happy with the shape of the bottle, go ahead and apply the solidify, bevel and subdivision surface modifiers. Add in some loop cuts for more detailing. Next, let's make the cap of the bottle. Again, take a circle, extrude it and match it with the reference. Once satisfied, go ahead and apply all the modifiers that we did for the bottle. Once you have your basic model ready, just compare it with the reference to see if it needs any further changes. Once you're satisfied with everything, go ahead to the materials and start applying the materials. For the cap of the bottle, I've made the color black and increase the metallic value and decrease the roughness. Next, create a new material for the bottle. Again, let's apply a black color and this time just reduce the roughness. Head on to the shading tab. Add in a color ramp, a mapping node and a texture coordinate node. We will use this node setup in order to get the gradient texture. In the texture coordinate node, use the object to fill in the value for the mapping node and plug in this into the base color value. In order to see the gradient better, I have just increased the roughness. Next, let's change the values on the color ramp. For this, I have kept one of the value black and the other color as blue. After you have set the desired value of the colors, go ahead and play with the scale, rotation and location of this value. Take your time until you get the desired effect. Once you have the desired effect, go ahead and reduce the roughness to get the glossy glass-like feel. Now let's go ahead and see how to emboss the logo. You can go ahead on the internet and find the logos for any brand that you like. Once you have it, go ahead and download it. Select the area where you want to place the logo. Next, go ahead and subdivide that area so that when you emboss the logo, you have a smooth finish. Now, add in a new material and make sure it's the same as the glass on the bottle. Then go ahead and click on the duplicate value. Rename this so that you don't have any confusion. Then just go ahead and assign the material. Go into the shader tab and make sure you are on the logo material. Next, go ahead and add in an image texture node. Open the logo that you downloaded from the internet and plug in the color into the displacement. As you can see, the texture is already showing on the glass bottle. Change the image type from repeat to extend and make sure the color space is set to non-color. Now press Ctrl T and add in the mapping and texture coordinates. Next. Head in to the UV editor, select all the faces and U to unwrap. As you can see, the logo has come horizontal, but we need it vertical. So just rotate it. And there we have it. Next, let's make this white text on the side. For that, I've just added a simple plane. Scale it on the X, Y and Z axis. Overlap this with the reference to see that it perfectly aligns. Once you have it in the desired shape, place it at the position and apply the scale. Next, we are going to subdivide this multiple times. We need the subdivisions in order to apply the shrink wrap modifier later. Now, go into your shader editor and rename this as the label. Add in an image texture and open your image. Again, go to the UV editor and press U to unwrap it. In a similar way, scale and adjust the image. Again, make sure your image is set to extend instead of repeat and the color space to non-color. Now, in order to get rid of the white background, we will add in an invert color node and plug the output into the alpha. There you go. You can see we have a clean white texture, but you can see that this is floating in the air. So to fix this, we are going to apply the shrink wrap modifier. Make sure to set the snap mode to outside surface and 
tweak the offset a bit. In our case, 0 0.01 works the best. As you can see, you can barely tell if the logo is a different part. Now, go into the render preview to check it. If you notice these harsh, noisy lines on the logo, there's an easy fix for this. Go to the shader tab and add in a bump node. Just reduce the distance value to a very low value. In my case, I've set it to 0.4. For the final render, I used a bunch of assets from Blender Kit. Blender Kit is a free add-on and has tons of assets. I began by adding multiple waves. Next, I added few fresh moss rocks. These are going to be in the background. Then I added two planes and extruded them with the subdivision surface modifier to mimic ribbons. Finally, I added a plane and extruded it. I set the color of the plane to red and increased the metallic value to full. And that's how I got my final render. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe for more such Blender tutorials.